What happens when two elite lifters travel to meet up at an unsuspecting commercial gym? I'm teamed up with Big Baker, the Gym Reaper. We're both exhausted from traveling and Baker is recovering from an intense bench session with Ronnie Coleman and Larry Wheels. However, opportunities like this are rare, so of course, we're set to make it unforgettable. Later in this video, a busy gym leads me to work in with a stranger, and this unlikely pairing pushes us both to our limits. As we load up close to 500 pounds, 227 kilos, we realize that the weight is rotating, making it way harder to keep stable. On top of that, the barbell starts to bend and whip around from the sheer weight. Both of these problems make bench pressing this much weight exponentially harder. As seasoned lifters, we know how to deal with these unexpected problems. As Big Baker prepares to lift five plates on each side, the gym takes notice, as this is a lot of weight that members have never seen before being lifted. I assist with the lift to help make sure the weight remains stable as possible. Baker long pauses the bench as the members around start to realize he's just getting started. Good. Great job, man. As we switch out and it's my turn, the gym starts to pick up. As I get ready, I meet a long-term follower, which is always an awesome exchange. After that, I take a quick pick and focus in on the task at hand. Even with Big Baker as a spot, I feel the shakiness of the weight in my hand, but it feels good. Lifting weight is about self-improvement, but who says that you can't have fun with it? What is life without a bit of mischief sprinkled in? Stick around and see what happens when I ask a kid and a group of guys to spot me. Pretending 500 pounds is too heavy and it crushes me. Baker and I decide what to put on next and we go up and start to load the bar with even more weight. People can't believe what they're witnessing. With 545 pounds, 247 kilos. That's just amazing. That's a feat of strength. This will be my heaviest set of the day. I focus and I lock in. I tap Baker in. After taking a couple pictures, it's Baker's turn. With 585 pounds, 265 kilos, things are starting to get serious. This moved slow for Baker, so he feels the looming chest strain affecting his lift. We load up 635 pounds, 288 kilos for Baker's heaviest set today, and Leif joins to assist Baker. These are some guys that are super pumped to see what is going on, and enthusiasm could be felt throughout the gym as members become even more amused by the spectacle in front of them. As Baker stays focused on preparing for the lift, Leif helps wrap up Baker. It's time for the main event, 635 pounds, 288 kilos, let's do this thing. I'm glad Baker reached out and our first time meeting was at the fitness expo into this epic bench session. Very rarely do I see someone stronger than me. They say comparison is a thief of joy, but I disagree. 
The only happens if you decide to do nothing. Without comparison, there are no standards and no standards to compare to. No standards to break. Compare yourself to your past self so future you looks back and is proud of the decisions you've made. Life can be better, but you must have the audacity to pursue it. What happens when an elite lifter shows up to a random commercial gym in Georgia? I've had bad experiences with unexperienced spotters at random gyms, but today is crowded, so I decided to let this aspiring power lifter work in with me, named Brandon. And man, am I glad I did. They say fitness is a selfish sport, but they clearly haven't met gym bros. Without knowing each other and speaking a word, a lot is said with the amount of iron on the bar. You don't get to that point without some struggle and some grit. And you don't just get there without some assistance from spotters and the energy of those around you boosting the experience. Brandon and I have never met, but I know what it took to get to where he's at. And we all know what a grind feels like. Brandon is happy and he calls it for the day and now it's time for me to get to my final set. I make sure the barbell is even as I give Brandon a quick crash course on what to do because once the weight is lifted off the hooks, the barbell starts to bend from the weight and becomes incredibly hard to unrack and rack the weight. As I zone in, the world tunes out as I focus on what I need to be done. 530 pounds, 240 kilos on the bar. With everyone watching, there was a miss handoff as he accidentally pulls it towards himself. It's okay, we try again. Don't fail me now. Thank my spotter and as always take time to make those around me have a memorable experience. I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do which is lift heavy weight for a living without those that support me. Today I saw this kid learning to lift with his dad and I figured I'd initiate him straight into the deep end, spotting 500 pounds where I pretend it's too heavy and it's up to him to save me as my spotter. He was a good sport, I'm sure he won't forget this moment. Next up, we're at the Mr. Olympia, a massive fitness expo taking place in Florida this year. Here, I catch up with my buddy Kwame. He wants to prank these three guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, stop. Wait, wait, take it. Hey bro, this is a lot of weight. Congrats, man.